Your Cal Poly Mustangs are Division II Intercollegiate Women's Polo Champions after taking down the reigning and defending Yukon Huskies in an epic 9-8 comeback after trailing 6-2 at half. I think it's really an amazing feeling for us because this is the first national championship that Cal Poly Polo has gotten. We worked so hard and we we really came at it with nothing to lose and we just played our hardest and having that championship is something we could have never dreamed of and we're really excited to take it home. This long awaited feat comes nearly five decades since the program began at a time where it was least expected. We did have to play an extra game to even get into the nationals. Um, we were uh, wild cards, so we were not qualified by winning. Uh, we were qualified because we uh, were the next best. Um, we had a really good regionals tournament, just didn't end up the way that we wanted. So when we got the wild card call, we were all super excited. We all really wanted to put in a lot of work um, to make the nationals. Getting a wild card made us true underdogs and fighting against a bunch of East Coast teams was, was a lot for us, but we pulled through and it just made that win extra sweet. A win of this magnitude will be essential in the growth of the club moving forward. We're a legitimate team now and we've proven ourselves. And not only does that mean a lot in terms of recruitment, people are gonna want to come to us because we can win and we work hard. Um, but after COVID, our team fell apart and it took a lot of effort to recruit and bring people back in and make something this legitimate. After winning D2 this year, we are actually going D1 next year. So um, our goal is to just be competitive in D1. Uh, you know, the teams are a whole different beast and um, we haven't played any of them because there's no D1 teams on the West Coast. So this will be our first venture out into the big leagues. <laughs> If it's not their accomplishments in the arena, the team's excellent chemistry will certainly attract more players. Cal Poly Polo really is a family, and I think the best thing is every single person was playing for each other. Like, I, I wanted to win this championship not for myself, but for my teammates, because they put so much work and effort and time, and I loved them so much that I knew that I needed to do my everything to bring home this championship, not just for my team, but for the future of Cal Poly and all of the teams that have helped us get here. Reporting for Mustang News Sports, I'm Nate Mills.